This is an AirSpy Mini. I have connected it to a signal generator on 91.6 MHz at minus 110 dBm. I have also connected a second generator 200 kHz below. And this generator is set to 1 mV. Uh, and I have connected it to the two sides of the dongle. Uh, live to USB ground and ground to antenna ground. This is to check how well isolated this unit might be against interference that comes from the USB cable. And what I see, uh, the signal uh, on 91.6, which is minus 110 dBm, indeed shows minus 110 dBm. Of course, I calibrated for it to do that by writing appropriate number here. Uh, the other generator is here, and it's almost as strong. So, uh, this unit is not well screened for currents uh, traveling on the screen from the USB side to the antenna side. It's not surprising at all. Uh, the antenna connector is just put through this hole. There is no nut, no washer, nothing to ensure a good electric contact. And on the USB side, uh, it's just uh, pulled through the hole and there is no connection here either. I do the usual modification. That means remove the anodization to get the metal surface on those points where I want electrical contact. Then a washer and a nut to make the electrical contact uh, hopefully very good. Now it's a little bit better. The signal is of course still at minus 110, but the other signal, the one I connect between the grounds, is a little bit weaker than before. Although I have increased the level by 20 dB, it's now 10 millivolts. The quality of the USB cable seems to make a difference now. It is still 10 uh, millivolts on this interference generator. Uh, but the signal is pretty weak, it's here, but as you can see it's not much, while the real signal is of course still at minus 110, uh, this signal. Here I have two AirSpy Mini dongles, one is the modified one on the right hand side, and the other is in its original shape. They are both connected to a, a 20 dB attenuator and then connected in parallel to this signal generator, which right now is switched off. Here I am tuned to 90.7. That's the frequency of the local FM station. And you can see when the voice was silent, we had the carrier here, and you can see it also up here. And this is uh, saying horizontal polarization, that means the unmodified dongle. Uh, I switched to vertical. 90 degrees and you see uh, well right now nothing but we have to wait for the voice to be quiet now they are talking all the time but you can see now and then the carrier here but there is nothing uh, from the modified dongle Stor dag. Men än så länge får det vara lite hemligt. Ja, det är lite hemligt än så länge. Om jag switch för the other polarization. Onsdag 25 maj då mellan 1 och 2 på eftermiddagen. Ja, gör det.
Tack så mycket Malin Axelsson. Tack. Magnus Victorin talar Den med Malin Axelsson på Radio Teatern. Nu i P1 är det dags för tankar för dagen. Idag med dramaturgen Ulla Karin Nyqvist. Jag har en god vän som There was was good. Han är en But av de klokaste jag känner. Det känns bra. The signal level is not particularly high. I have made an antenna here with this wire. And looking at the spectrum analyzer and I can see about minus 58 dBm. If I move this wire around a little bit and I'm moving it, uh, it doesn't change very much. The result. Now I switched on a second generator down here with an antenna on it like that. And here I see now a much stronger signal. And it comes in the spectrum here, so I click on it. Like this. And now we can see the level in the two polarizations. Uh, it's strong, I have to bring down like that. And you can see that uh, the red track, now it is the modified dongle, while the blue track is the original, original shape. And the difference is about 10 decibels. Uh, not very much, but it's a significant difference that could be important in some cases. As it happens, there is USB noise on 240 megahertz. I have set the signal generator to 240.24 and I switch it off. And then on again, it's this signal. Now if I change to display the, the other uh, dongle, I do that by clicking the polarization graph. You can see that the USB noise is not there anymore, but that the signal is approximately the same. I have set the signal generator to 90.4 and listen to the signal. We can see the local FM station here, but now I'm listening to a signal generator that is equal in amplitude to the two uh, air spy units. I select the polarization to be 45 degrees and you can see if I make it faster that there is some beat note between the two. It means they come in phase and out of phase uh, with a certain repetition, that's because they are not synchronized, they have separate local oscillators, as you can hear. I can tell Linrod to try to adapt to that, I have to make it faster. And here you can see the uh, polarization graph rotates quickly, but all the time uh, it finds the combination uh, that adds the two signals and I make it a little bit slower hmm. and now it fails the speed of the uh, polarization adaption it's this bar here and it has to be to the leftmost position uh, when the polarization this seems like a polarization variation to Linrod. The reason for Linrod having uh, two channels possibility for AirSpy is that the full size AirSpy can be locked to a reference signal so it allows a true coherent uh, two channel system. And again I look at the local FM station. This is the original 
their spot. And here is the modified one. Uh, it may make a difference sometimes. Not because we want to avoid local FM. It is because we want to avoid local interference generated by our computers and the USB cables, power supplies and whatever.